Hey guys, and uh, today I will take a look at this again. Uh, I showed this earlier today, and this one we don't use. I am probably just sometime going to cut this end off and picking this on camera, and probably putting that in a one of the future giveaways, but. Don't know yet, but I, I think I will pick it on camera anyway at some point. And these we don't need. We only need this because what I will do is I will show how these works. Oh well, the how the um, sleeve works, but for that I would probably need another lock. Don't have one right here, but I have. Um, <clears throat> if we can get focus, I have already pried it up on the back. It was right there. Onto the pins, and that will make the undercuts. So let's take this off. We should be able to do so with better fingers. And then the pins should be able to come out. There we go. Okay, as we can see, if we get some of this oil off, uh, where's my pointing things? Okay, as you can see, there is this uh, grind on the first four pins. This is usually just a standard, or oh, well, in many cases, it is. And it is because you need something to hold the plug so it doesn't. Um, give too much slack inside of the uh, the Bible. So on these four there is undercuts or counter milling, depends on what you will call it. And when you put a sleeve on that that is sitting like this, you can see there is still space down there, down under, and that means the pins can go inside um, yeah, if we can get this aligned, there we go. If I can hold on to it. Now there is undercuts because of the uh, sleeve. But when you take the sleeve off, if come on, I get the, get it off. It's just this grinding and then a piece of metal. Oh, well, piece of brass put over, and that's all it actually does. It's, it's quite simple, but very, very effective. What I sometimes have done on challenge locks, I have not made many Ruko challenge locks, but a few. What I sometimes do is, of course, I will put some uh, threadings inside of the uh, uh, fifth hole here, the last hole. And then, together with the uh, counter milling on the first four, I will also thread down the holes. So if I have a short pin, I can make a serration, pretty much a deep serration or two. And by that, it could get cut in the uh, serrations down here, and then in the um, counter milling or undercut. Um, so. That was pretty much what I wanted to show you guys on these. I'm probably just throwing this out because it's just a piece of unusable brass now. And I will get back with this one, cut off and pick it. Maybe I pick it before I cut it, I don't know. But I will pick this on camera. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember, skill always beats luck, and have a great day.